here with Jelly Roll. Yes. Former Billboard cover subject. <laughs> yes, baby. See what happens when you're on the cover of I, Billboard? I like being called a subject. <laughs> I like that. Like a case study kind of. You know exactly. what I mean? I dig that. All right, you're a case study <laughs> in that tonight you won your first ACM award. First time nominated, first award, and, and it couldn't have happened for a more meaningful song. So let's talk about this. So it was for musical events for Save Me with Lainey Wilson. Yes. Talk about what, you would obviously recorded the song yourself. Why did you feel like you needed to add someone to it, and why Lainey? I just I love Lainey, and I wanted to hear it from a woman's point of view. You know what I mean? And I, the first thing that uh, my stylist, Krista Rosa, said when she heard it, she said, I listened to that song a thousand times and loved it, but I cried the first time I heard Lainey sing it because it felt like it was one of us singing it. And I was like, wow, it just just covered me with chills. And I knew then it was going to be a special song. So, And what I mean... I could have never, I mean, I had a feeling Lainey was going to be the biggest artist on earth, but whoa, man, what a great year for me to have a song with her. You know what I'm saying? Right, so as her friend, does she come to you and say, man, how are you dealing with this? Like, can you give me some advice? Like, what is your advice for her? Because you were a little bit further ahead of her, and then you guys just started both Zooming. It's been so awesome. We've been so so uh, paralleled and everything. We talk about it openly and honestly. Her and Cody Johnson and uh, are a couple of the ones I'll call and we'll lay it all on the table with. And that's really important because when all this is down and it's uh, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and there's a little bit of a lonely hour, we'll call each other and go, what's up, man? How you really feeling? And that's the coolest part of our friendship. So it feels like everyone wants to duet with you now. So what is the strangest call that you've gotten lately or the call that you couldn't believe you look down and it's... Well, Dwayne Johnson calls you all the time, so yeah. that's not new. So when it's not The Rock, yeah. what's the one that surprised you the most? I think whenever I got the call to do the uh, music carousel with John bon, John, John bon Jovi, and then I met Sir Paul McCartney at the same time. So there's a picture that exists on the earth of me meeting Sir Paul McCarthy and John Bon Jovi at the same time. And it's that was the one that was like, get out of here, man. Right, so do you have to look at it to make sure it was real? I, I, dude, I, I told my, I had to send it to people and say, I promise this ain't Photoshop. The, the problem is most of the people that were old enough to appreciate it didn't know what Photoshop was. <laughs> so I've asked people who they most want to perform with, and Paul McCartney has come up twice. Yes. So who do you most want to perform with now? I'll go with the counter of that and say John Bon Jovi, actually. That'd be really crazy. Especially now that his voice is back all the way fire, and I watched the documentary, I thought it was amazing. And uh, yeah, dude, I'd love to do something with some with or James Taylor. I'd cry. Have you talked to Bob Seger, either one of the greats? I, me and me and John are starting to become friends. It's really cool. It's really cool. That's gonna happen. I hope so. No, I, I know 100 percent so. that one's yes, gonna happen. Yes, that's, yes. that's too good not to that'd happen. That'd be a good one.